So we're here at Tractor Supply. We got deer corn for nine bucks. Let's go ahead and grab us a bag. We're gonna go ahead and boil this up, turn it into some carp bait. some pots and pans. Let's grab the two biggest ones. So this is five cups of corn. It's actually measured. So now we got to boil it for like 30 to 45 minutes. All right, you guys, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It's been 45 minutes. So we're gonna go get a fish hook and see if we can stick it through one of these pieces of corn, see if they're soft enough. All right, we got us a bait with some hooks on it just to test this corn. Let me get a piece out of here and start cooling it off. No, see, it's still too hard. It, it goes through, but it's not it's not soft enough yet. I'm gonna let it boil for some for a little bit longer. So that was 45 minutes. Let's give it another 15 minutes. Let's boil it for exactly an hour, and I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this. Hey Google. Set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. We got the corn, we got the hook, and it feels about the same. It doesn't really feel any softer. So maybe 45 minutes was all you needed. So we had five cups of corn in here. Let's see how much it is after we cooked it. Oh wow, that expands quite a bit. Golly, five cups turned into probably more than ten cups. A third? About a third of a five gallon bucket full of corn? And then we're just gonna let it chill, soak up some of that water overnight and then uh, Go see if we can get some tomorrow. Hey y'all, so I put some bread in with the corn, but then we had some bad weather so it sat for a couple days. And I haven't been able to go out and chum again. So it's my lunch break right now and we're gonna go chum, but I wanna show you guys what this bucket looks like. Oh, put that lid back on. We're gonna go dump it in the river. Hopefully that extra stink is gonna help bring in the fish, and then after I get out of work, they'll be all chummed up. There we go, we'll chum this whole area. All right, so the first round of chumming for today is done. It's a uh, little afternoon, and then we'll come back after I get out of work. Hopefully this whole area will be filled with carp and we'll be able to catch some. Really want to hear that drag scream on that BFS reel, so um, I'll catch you guys when I get out of work. That's kind of a bad sign. All of our corn is still here. That means none of the carp came up and ate it. So we're gonna try and catch some catfish as well as, ooh, there was a carp. That was for sure a carp just jumped out of the water. Come this way. That's a good sign, guys. We're gonna try and catch a catfish also. So we got these chicken hearts. And I just have um, a one ot circle hook. I'm gonna put that chicken heart on there. 
and chunk it out there and hopefully we can get us a catfish. Just right out in the middle of the river. Now what I love about this reel is it's got a bait clicker. You see that? It's the Abu Garcia Ambassador 6600 CL Rocket. And when you turn this bait clicker on, it clicks. So what you do is you get your line tight. And then once your line's tight, like so, you just push you just push the, the thumb, and then when a fish takes it, you'll hear that bait clicker, and you can just come, bam, and reel them in. It's a super awesome catfishing reel. And then for carp, I have my Curato BFS with four pound fluoro tied onto 10 pound braid. And then I have my S-Gang super ultra light rod. So if I get me a big old carp, anything over like three pounds, you're gonna be hearing lots of that, hopefully. So let's get a piece of corn out. There we go, nice piece of corn. And I'm just gonna barely hook it. right through the skin of this corn. And this is a number 10 little tiny hook. See that? And then when a carp comes up and eats it, I'll get them just like that. Bam! Super light line. I have a bobber stop, just like you would use for Texas rigging, and a 1 8 ounce tungsten weight. And I just slide the bobber stop up it's almost like a split shot rig. I don't like split shots, especially with four pound tests because when you crimp a split shot on the line, it crimps the line and makes it weaker. So this keeps the integrity of the line and essentially gives us a split shot rig. Okay, so most of our chum ended up like out there. So I'm just gonna cast this right out to where that chum was. Perfect. Now we just kind of let it chill. Like so. Reel in the slack a little bit. Yes, sir. Oh, look at all these little tiny minnows. Those minnows like those breadcrumbs. See, that's what I want the carp to do. You feed the carp the corn, they come in, and then they eat, and then they eat the one with the hook in it, and I get them. That's the plan. I have only been out here for five minutes. You have to have patience. Pew. Glass. That is a shame. That'll cut your foot wide open. All right, we're at the river. That's, this is our third spot we've tried for carp, and hopefully this works. I got rocks here so it's not super muddy down here. It's a nice place to, to just chill. Whoo, that stinks! Mm, let's go ahead and chum this spot up. Bucket of 
stinky corn. I put some meat in there and then let it set for like five days because it was raining. So it's pretty nasty. And I'm chucking this crab right into the wind. All right, let's get back. day two at this spot and there's no wind today it's pretty oh there's some there's a fish right there you see it probably a big old fat carp up there eating on all that corn yes this is good news guys there was one over there too Yep, look. Look at all this activity. There's still some corn right there, but all the other corn is gone. Yeah, so there's still some corn on that rock out there. A little bit of corn here. Oh yeah, look. One just spooked from over there. Hopefully when we come back tomorrow, on day three, that'll be the day. Catch us some big old fatties. All right, y'all, hopefully we get to go fishing today. We got a bunch of bread and corn. We're gonna chum on my lunch break and then go fishing after work. And there's still dried corn here on the rock, so I don't think it was raccoons or anything. I think the fish are here and they moved up in. Let's throw some corn out there and see what happens. So hopefully none of that brings any rain for today. Because hopefully we can come out and catch us some fish tonight. As long as it doesn't rain, the water level stays just like this, I think we're going to be just fine. It is a beautiful morning, and we're gonna go see if we can catch some carp, maybe a catfish or two. There's a big old turtle right there. All the corn that we put out yesterday is gone, but that was a big turtle. These chicken hearts are rank. Catfish rod is set. Let's get our carp rod rigged and ready. Oop, something's got the catfish rod. Missed him. 
Yep, took my bait. He was running with it. Oh, something's got the carp wrap. <clears throat> wow. That four pound test is no joke, you guys. Let's get let's get another chicken heart on since this rod's ready to go. Shoot, someone's got the catfish rod right as I'm tying this knot. It's still on there too. I wonder if they're gar pike. It just pulled right out of its mouth. Let's see if he took my heart. Don't take my heart. Nope, it's still on there. Look, there's no teeth marks in it or nothing. But it was definitely running. Something had it. We'll just put it right back out there. All right, back to tying on this hook. There we go, there we go. Oh, what the heck? What do you think, guys? About now? Nope, pulled right out of his mouth. Wow, that's still on my bait, too. It was down the gullet. I think I'm just gonna change hooks. Maybe an octopus hook will be better. There's a carp right there. Got him! Yes! Oh! Finally got one! I saw him. Come on, buddy. Oh, look at him run. This rod is handling him like a champ, too. Oh, that's a nice one. Holy crap, that's a big fish. I don't have a net or nothing. I haven't really seen him. I just saw him flash. It's a pretty big one. 
four pound test number 10 hook. I'm definitely gonna have to wear them out. I still haven't seen them. Oh, I saw his tail flash. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, there's a turtle. Come on, buddy. Golly, look how big he is. Just keeping pressure. I don't want him to get into that current. That would be bad for me. Yeah, this fish definitely would have the the potential to spool me if he just turned around and ran. Golly, it's a monster. That was the trick. I just needed to put on a bobber. Oh, look at him. Golly, he's massive. Oh, don't get into that current. Yes, his head's coming up. Come on, buddy. We just need you to swim this way. Come on, this way. Oh, I swapped the batteries mid-fight. Golly. All right, buddy. Now you're tired. I had him up like this earlier, trying to change out the batteries. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish. All right, I got my finger in his gill. Come on. Oh, holy crap. Finally, you guys, look at this. Four days. Four days I've been trying to catch one of these, and it's a massive one. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, let's get a hold of this hook right there. There we go. Just like that, guys. Tiny little number 10 hook. It was almost straightening out, too. You see that? Even if my drag was set that loose, that hook is still, like, not all the way in like it should be. It was almost straightening out. Golly, that's crazy. There's definitely a fish on my catfish rod. Look, the line's way over there. Oh, man. Hey, guys four days in the making, even more than that. This has been weeks. I've been trying to get this accomplished for weeks. Look at that massive fish. Golly, that's a big carp. He's a heavy, fat full of corn, probably. Beautiful, like red on his tail. Look at that. And there is a fish on my catfish rod, so I gotta get him back in. But, oh, it feels good, man. I'm shaking. Four pound test line. Putting the bobber on was the trick. That is a fish on four pound test finally got to break in that bfs right oh! and not the most graceful release in the world but he's back in the water <laughs> all right while i was fighting that carp something took my catfish rod over here it must have swam at us because it was out here let's see if there's anything on it nope It definitely got chewed up though. Look at that heart. 
It must have got chewed up and then spit out. Too busy fighting that carp. Holy crap, something's got my catfish rod. Almost turned my bucket over. Yep, he's still got it. Yeah, I think she, he just let it go. Yeah, I got him. Oh, whatever it is, it's on my line and it's big. Oh. oh, yeah, it's big. Oh, you see that wake? Oh, oh, it's like a, like a truck. Oh yeah, what do we got? Oh, it's a big old catfish. No way. Oh. oh no, it's a stupid turtle. Oh. Come on. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm trying to get you unhooked. There we go. Got him. Whew. I wonder if it was that stupid turtle this whole time. Whew, that was exciting, though. Look at my hook. Hey y'all, mission accomplished. We got that big old fat carp on the BFS rod. Four pound test, number 10 hook. Such a good time. Right here, I've been chumming this hole for three days, I think. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever done this with carp, but it was a blast. Just gotta get some deer corn, cook it up, and then chum them till they're like ready and in that spot all the time. And I could see them, like, they'd come up and eat the corn, and that's how I, I caught that one. Ooh, there was something jumped over there. And then since we're sitting here at the river, you might as well have a catfish rod in, right? I know it sucks we caught that turtle, but I was like, I thought it was a big old catfish when it, like, surfaced. I thought it was a big blue cat, like, rolling. I don't know, man, but it was, it was still a lot of fun. And we got to let go of that turtle. No harm done. He swam off just fine. And that epic release on the carp, man. I don't know, man. They're big and slimy and kind of hard to hold on to. So, anyways, it was a lot of fun. Got to hear that drag rip. Got to test out that. That rod was only $15. And that carp was probably over five pounds. So, handled it like a champ. No problems at all. That Curado BFS is just, it's a sweet reel. I'm so glad I got it. Thank you all for watching, and remember to fish, learn, repeat. We'll catch you on the next one. No, Sonny, you can't have any corn. She walks away all sad. She wouldn't like it anyways.